This time, Russia can apply the Ukrainian scenario in Armenia. Armenia's withdrawal from the Collective Security Treaty Organization, CSTO, is only a matter of time. Experts interviewed by Izvesha Media outlet no longer doubt that Nikol Pashinyan's government will do this after the Armenian premier said during a dispute at a parliament meeting on June the 12th that Yerevan will leave the CSTO when it sees fit. Yerevan de facto suspended its activity within the Russian-led bloc in February when it said it had frozen its participation in it, and Armenia stopped making financial contributions to the alliance in early May. Despite this, CSTO Secretary General Imangali Tasmagambetov said the organization fully sticks to its commitments to Yerevan. Moscow sees Western pressure behind the harsh rhetoric toward the CSTO and Russia. The West is trying its best to integrate Armenia into its confrontation with Russia without any regard for Armenia's security or the interests of the Armenian people, Russian Deputy Foreign Minister Mikhail Galuzin told Izvesha recently. Armenia will undoubtedly quit the CSTO as the Republic has clearly shifted toward the West and pro-Western agencies politically, experts say. The only question now is when this will happen. Everybody has already taken the scenario of Armenia's exit into account and everybody is preparing for that. And that will be Armenia's, not the CSTO's initiative. The CSTO, for one, did everything to take Yerevan's interests into account, senior research fellow at the Centre for Studies of Caucasus at MGIMO University, Nikolai Sileyev, concurs. It seems the Pashinyan administration will have the final say on this. Negotiations continue and the Prime Minister is trying to score a political victory, says Sileyev. Still, getting out of the CSTO may not be easy for Yerevan. However, at present, Armenia cannot make the jump to another organization due to the country hosting a Russian military base and Russian border guards, as well as Armenians having certain visa advantages, head of the Caucasus sector of IMEMO RAS, Vadim Mukhanov told Izvesha. The Armenian leadership continues the trend of distancing the country from the CSTO and Russia, said Stanislav Prichin of the Russian Academy of Sciences Primakov Institute of World Economy and International Relations. The de facto political decision has already been made, obviously, but has not yet been institutionalized, the expert stated. That said, Prichin thinks that Yerevan is still considering the consequences and Moscow's reaction. Experts say that Armenia's policy of hostility towards Russia does not exclude the repetition of the Ukrainian scenario in this Caucasian country.